we wanted 3D architecture, we wanted 3D fluids flowing around and so forth, and we didn't really know how to do it in text graphics at all and weren't really willing to dive into it until uh, problems with the design that came up uh, kind of didn't force our hand, but, but at least encouraged us to jump off the cliff. Uh, so we have this 2D uh, fluid here, this is a river, and in the game you could build bridges, and so everything was happening in the same two-dimensional space, so it would have to understand uh, for walking characters that if, as long as you're on a building of some kind, then you don't get wet, right? And uh, store the water there, you could dig channels and they would, they would flood, that's, that's simple enough to understand. Placing floodgates, then you could empty the channel, and then we, I, we added aqueducts, and things start to get nested, and you can't just store water with a bit field anymore because it lives on the structures, especially if your aqueduct pours water all over the bridge, then your feet get wet if there's bridge, if there's like a bridge bit water set thing, whatever. And uh, it just got, I mean, because of the flawed sort of initial conception that we didn't like go right to 3D, we just ended up with a special case nightmare I'm sure some of you are familiar with. And uh, there are drawbridges too, and you can of course change the floodgates. And it's, it was just, we scrapped the whole thing. And uh, the problem with that, though, is, is we had this really nice game feeling. It was a little sort of restrictive uh, narrative-wise in terms of the, the, the kind of fortresses you could make. But you do have this problem, right, where if you're exploring, especially like mining, a very small sort of site uh, bubble, then we were in this case in 2D where you dig to the right and you're going to hit the things. The interesting things will be hit or you have a kind of line wobbler situation where you hit the interesting things in zero dimensional objects in one dimensional space. But if you're in a three dimensional space, you don't hit lines anymore. You kind of have a zero probability chance of finding them in some sense depending on your starting distance. It rapidly decreases or whatever. And the same with a point in 2D space. So we were confronted with then, you know, we've got to change our rivers and chasms to like giant open caverns and lakes for people to be able to find those. Uh, here's an isometric view of a, of a cavern that's three levels um, uh, tall with uh, various things going on in it. And this is the kind of thing that the player would then hit. And we can do a lot with the... the the, uh, the, the cavern in terms of the features that are there, various fluids and giant mushrooms growing and all kinds of things. Uh, but it's going to be very different for each player. So we can't really rely on, for instance, in the, in the 2D version, we had flood farming. Right? There's this, the, farm, uh, the, the river that we knew was there would seasonally flood outward. And you do this kind of Nile thing with mushrooms inside your fortress. Now it's you know, up to your ability to find and move water around uh, and you might be trading for food instead if you can't, if you can't uh, find any, although the farming is too easy in the current version. Uh, and, but there were upsides, right? Uh, I mean, this is, this is kind of a post-Minecraft picture, but I mean, they were kind of technically able to do things like, like this uh, before, before that. Uh, so people are kind of more used to this now, but it was, I mean, it's kind of interesting. And, in uh, when we when we did it in 2007 to be able to do this kind of Lego sculpture thing and do these really interesting um, pictures. So uh, I mean, on the on the whole, even though it became kind of a nightmare to generate the maps. I mean, debugging uh, generation algorithms in 3D is is there's just this one little added piece of pain that comes from having the Z coordinate that makes the debugging just that much worse. And uh, but uh, overall, it was kind of. Um, you know, made the game less gamey in that sense, uh, but allowed so much more freedom that uh, you know we're we're kind of happy with it, even if people still complain about the uh, not having those things.